Here's how ABS actually works. Start to finish. Each wheel has a tiny speed sensor, reading rotations hundreds of times a second. Those signals feed an ECU, the ABS computer, watching for sudden wheel deceleration that screams, about to lock. When it detects the threshold, the ECU commands, the hydraulic modulator, your brake pressure gatekeeper. Inside are solenoid valves, hold, release, and apply. They tweak pressure to each wheel independently. Release opens briefly, dropping pressure so the tire regains rolling grip. Then apply bumps pressure back in, fast. A pump recycles fluid so your pedal doesn't sink. This hold release apply cycle repeats up to dozens of times per second. Those pulses you feel in the pedal. The result isn't shorter brakes by magic. It's controlled traction so tires can both roll and steer. Cornering. The ECU prioritizes the inside-outside wheels differently to keep stability. On gravel or deep snow, a slight push of loose material can outbreak ABS, so expect longer stops but better control. ABS also shares hardware with traction control and stability control. Same sensors, same modulator, different algorithms. Summary. Sensors read. ECU decides. Valves modulate. Pump maintains pressure. Grip restored. Steering preserved. Next time the pedal chatters, that's the system saving tire grip in real time.